Hi there, YouTube fans. I'm going to teach you how to make a sweet paper hornet that hurts. First, you're going to need an 11 by 8 standard sheet of paper, the ones that you probably use for printing. You'll need some paper clips and a couple of rubber bands. First, you want to start by folding the piece of paper. You see how it's like really long here? You want to fold it. You want to turn it around and fold it sideways. So it kind of looks like this. Not like that, like this. Okay? When you're done with that, you want to flip it over to the other side and do the same thing. You want to um, fold the same crease. And then what you want to do is you want to rip it in half. When you're done with that, that's not perfect, I know. But it should look somewhat like this. When you're done with that, you want to fold this piece, the one you just had, in half to the left. So if you have it long ways, you want to fold it to the left, like that. Okay? Same thing, you want to flip it over and then fold it on the other side. Now when you rip it, it should look like this. Now, here's the last part, or not the last part, I'm sorry, but you want to fold it, if you're looking at it like this, it kind of looks like a square, I know it's hard, but if you're looking at it like this, this side should be the long side, okay? You want to fold it to the left again. Same thing again, you want to flip it over. And fold it. And then tear it. So now, it should kind of look like this. Now let's move all these scraps away. And we'll start folding. So you want to take one crease like that. And then just keep folding over it. And you want to make little small ones, because the smaller it is, the faster the paper hornet will fly and the farther it will fly. So you want to make them nice and small. And once you get about halfway through it, you want to stop and get one of your paper clips. Stick it inside the socket, just like that, just a crease in the middle. Sorry about that. And it should be, it should look like that. See the paper clip, the shiny thing right there? That's in the socket, in the creases we just made. And then you just want to keep folding over that. Keep folding, and folding, and folding, and folding, and folding. Make sure you get nice, smooth creases. And then what you want to do after that, after you can feel the paper clip in the middle, you want to start bending it whichever way you want. So when you're done with that, it should kind of look like that. And here's the here's the best one I made so far. And now there's a little thing up top here that you might be wondering about, and I'll show you how to do that later. So here you have. Now you want to take one of your other um, paper clips, and if you don't know how to do this, you have to take one of the little ones and bend it out so it looks like an S. Okay? When you're done with that, you want to start folding it in half and back and back until it rips. And when it does rip, you want to take the smaller end, not the bigger one, you want to take the smaller one and stick it down through the paper hornet because there should be a little hole there. So you want to stick it down through there, and it should kind of look like this one. And now, these two look exactly the same, except one of them's a little bit taller than the other. But that's fine. And when you're done with that, you want to take 
your two rubber bands or one doesn't matter. I like to use two because it goes farther and harder. And you want to wrap them around your index finger and your thumb, so it kind of looks like this, like a loser sign. And you want to have them straight connected. And then I'm gonna shoot one against the wall here. You see that? That's what I'm aiming at. I'm gonna aim right there, right under it. Okay, here we go. Just try it one more time. That was a bad one. Sorry. Thanks for watching, and hope your paper hornet's the best.